Geospatial capabilities are a broad enterprise. Drones are really the latest entrant into that area. There's places that satellites can go that Artemis can't, but then there is a level of resolution, of fidelity, and of accessibility that Artemis provides that satellites can't match. Artemis stands for Aero Reconnaissance Tactical Edge Mapping and Imagery System, and it is a self-contained geospatial tool that allows users to collect, aggregate, analyze imagery at the tactical edge. Your traditional satellite image only goes down to about 30 centimeters. That's the best shot that you can get from a satellite. The Artemis cameras will collect to three centimeters of imagery. So you can see cars, you can see a mirror poking out from the side of a car. A lot of my deployments uh, were outside of Iraq and Afghanistan. At some of these locations, there is a lack of access. A lot of it was based upon having to be connected to the internet or some type of imagery database. We try to take Google Earth and get all kinds of different imagery into it. And it aggregates all that content into a laptop for a user who's totally disconnected from a network. The relationship that we have with NGA and the Google Earth Enterprise platform is extremely important. The goal for Artemis is to get it in the hands of as many users as possible. Then this crowdsource info is shared amongst not only the users there on the ground, but because of the Google Earth Enterprise, we're able to push that up to National Geospatial Agency, where it can then be disseminated to a broad range of potential users. I'd like to welcome you all to Tough Stuff Technologies and for a four Training is groups of six to eight operators. We start off in the classroom and we'd like to get them out in the field as quickly as we can. The overall weight of the entire system is about 25 pounds when it's boxed up in its ruggedized carrying case. And we'll go ahead and assemble the wings. The aircraft itself is very light, uh, weighs 2.2 pounds. That makes it easy to hand launch. To a trained operator, the launch is very simple. You just shake the drone three times, the motor starts up, does a couple of aileron checks, and then you rotate the drone up to 45 degrees and toss it into the air. Classic examples of Artemis in use was in Iraq. They were actually going out and capturing imagery of their objectives just hours before they began kinetic operations on them. The ability for them to fly, collect, process, and then disseminate that data to a variety of different users oftentimes happened in an hour or less. That's pretty powerful. Currently, we have a lot of special forces using Artemis, but civil affairs, uh, fish and wildlife, they have different use cases for Artemis as well. Artemis is all about getting information that a soldier can use at the tactical edge. Artemis delivers me three centimeter imagery. I mean, that's the bomb diggity. That is the best imagery I've ever seen. The detail, the, the high resolution, that's unheard of. Being able to utilize an unmanned drone is pretty awesome. I mean, it's going to allow us to uh, perform the task with less people in a faster amount of time. The other good thing about Artemis is it's pretty simple. You put in your mapping mission and then Artemis does it for you. Artemis is not just a drone, but it is a toolbox of capability. Drones are really the next step. They're filling a gap that has previously been unexploited. We never thought that we could achieve something of this exquisite value at such a low price point. Artemis is the Greek goddess of hunting and wildlands, and that's exactly what we're doing at the Tactical Edge. We're hunting. Hey, Jeff.